Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about escape sequences in Perl. So an escape sequence is a combination of characters, a slash and usually an alphabet that has a special meaning in Perl. And uh, escape sequences are usually used to have uh, effects in displaying strings of text on screen and uh, for this tutorial we are going to work with a file that's called escaping underscore characters it has the extension .pl on line number one in this file we have the shebang line and then on line number three we have created a variable called my underscore var and uh, if you guys remember in Perl we create variables using the dollar symbol so there's the dollar symbol and the name of the variable my underscore var and then you assign values using uh, the equal to symbol or the assignment operator right and uh, to this variable I want to assign a string of text which is 5 is different from 5 so this is the numeric 5 whereas this is the word 5 and uh, if you remember from the last tutorial there are two ways in which you can create string variables you can either create using single quotes or double quotes and if you create using double quotes you can uh, render your escape sequences whereas if you create using single quotes then the escape sequences don't work so over here I have a challenge I want to have double quotes around the word 5 and I also want to uh, render this escape sequence so how do I do that because if I would put a uh, double quote here and a double quote here then uh, Paul would assume that my string is going to end here and then you know it's going to treat this part as a string and then it's going to uh, treat this escape sequence as another string and it won't know what these four or five characters are doing between these two strings so there has to be a way in which I can make Perl know that uh, this double code is actually not the end of the string that starts here and uh, this double code is also a part of the entire string and I do that by putting a slash before uh, my double code so I would have to put a slash here and a slash here and everything would work just fine right on line number four I'm printing this variable using uh, the print statement so if you've created a variable on one line and you want to print it somewhere else in your script you just have to use the print statement give a space and put the name of your variable of course you'll have to terminate the statement using a semicolon on line number six I have a print statement which has two escape sequences it has the slash a or the alert bell escape sequence as well as the slash n es escape sequence I'm sure uh, you know what the slash n sequence is used for it's used to shift the cursor to a new line the slash a escape sequence is uh, going to produce uh, some sound on your system whether you're using Mac Windows or uh, any operating system you would just hear a beep or uh, a tone or something on line number eight we have uh, the slash t escape sequence this is known as uh, the horizontal tab and if I'm not wrong a horizontal tab is equivalent to five space characters so it would uh, two uh, horizontal tab uh, escape sequences would result into a horizontal gap of uh, 10 space characters and on line number 10 we have uh, the slash u escape sequence and uh, you know this is the slash uh, small u escape sequence so what this does is it changes the case of uh, the very next character to uppercase if it's uh, in lowercase then it would be changed to uppercase if it's already uppercase then it does nothing and uh, it changes the case of only one character and not all following characters for that we have the slash uh, upper u escape sequence which is on line number 14 but before that on line number 12 we have the slash lower l escape sequence this one changes the case of uh, the character that follows immediately to lowercase again if it's already lowercase then it does nothing and then on line number uh, 16 we have the slash capital l escape sequence which changes the case of all following characters to lowercase on line number 18 we have the slash capital U uh, Q escape sequence this one uh, just puts a slash before all uh, non alphanumeric or uh, all special characters basically if you have special characters in your string and you're using the slash uh, Q escape sequence uh, then you would have a slash before uh, each and every character right so I will run this file and show you guys the output so you will not be able to hear the beep probably 
but uh, you can see the uh, formatting effects that the escape sequences have led to so you can see here that I have uh, double quotes around uh, 5 and then uh, you know obviously the slash a escape, escape sequence you will be able to notice the effect of that when you run the script on your own system and then uh, between G A and P we have two uh, slash T escape sequences which have uh, resulted into the space and then uh, the f uh, alphabet O in one uh, you can see that uh, the ch the case of uh, this particular character is uppercase because we were using the slash U escape sequence right here and uh, then uh, over here uh, we had the slash small l escape sequence uh, the word new was all in uppercase but because of this escape sequence the alphabet n has been displayed in lowercase and then uh, this entire statement if you can see on line number 14 has been written in lowercase but because of this slash u escape sequence the slash capital u escape sequence before the word case uh, the word case is uh, is displayed in uppercase and then finally on line number 16 the slash capital L escape sequence has resulted into this word being displayed in small case over here and uh, the slash capital U Q escape sequence has uh, put a slash before all uh, special characters in this string so that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll continue our discussion on Perl concepts I hope you guys had fun watching this one and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you soon till then take care